Meet one of many animals being cared for at Sanctuary One in Jackson County, Oregon. Program coordinator Brooke Muller tells us what Sanctuary One is all about. Sanctuary One is a care farm model. So our mission is to bring together people, animals, and the earth for mutual healing. We have animal programs where we bring in different rescue animals from sanctuaries, rescues, different organizations all across the West and provide them with the care that they need to recover from whatever situations they've been in. At the same time, we're bringing in people to interact with our animals and our site. Uh, we have volunteers, we have service learning partners, we have field trips. Anyone who wants to come out here and experience all that this place has to offer. At the same time, we're caring for our earth, so we have different gardens on site that people can work with uh, and learn about, as well as an emphasis on focusing on the natural uh, area that's around us. The cats in this shelter may not seem to be farm animals, and they're not your typical farm cats. While this one definitely has a cat's curiosity, they have something else that requires special accommodations. Uh, we have two distinct populations of cats at Sanctuary One. Uh, one of that being our general population and the other is our FIV positive population. So these cats have essentially a feline version of HIV. Their immune system is compromised and they uh, get sick a little easier than other cats. Uh, thanks to our facility, they are provided with all the food they need, a stress-free environment, and we expect them to have the same life expectancy as any other cat would. Um, we just take care to make sure that we keep everything nice and clean for them uh, and not introduce new germs or anything that could harm them in any way. And they all seem pretty happy to me. Funds were raised from the local community to build this special shelter. There's no separation here between healing the person and healing the earth, as evident here in this garden. While bees and butterflies may not seem like typical rescue animals, they are facing serious threats to their survival. Their rescue is the abundant flora here, which helps them meet this challenge. Young people also grow food here, recognizing that connection between the soil and their own nourishment. Again, it's the community support that makes this critical connection possible. Sanctuary One is best known for the farm animals it rescues. All are worthy of a good life in this approach of Sanctuary One, from the humble rabbit to these young llamas. These are South American natives. Their home is in the Andes Highlands, so when their owners left them to fend for themselves in North America, a rescue was needed. Now they enjoy their home here at Sanctuary One near Applegate Lake. Yes, they're cute, but they also need care, which they're getting here at Sanctuary One. Look how curious they are. Sanctuary One is the last resort for some abused and neglected animals. Now many of the animals here would not still be living if not for this organization. This chicken is a farm animal that likes to hang out in the spacious barn, part of the historic farm that Sanctuary One bought. The domesticated animals here are not raised for products. It's the interest and needs of the animals that come first. Visitors on field trips are asked to bring vegetarian or vegan lunches an attempt for kids to see animals apart from meeting their dietary needs. Brooke informed me that these geese are a bit shy around people, especially in groups that tour the farm. There's a lesson there as well. Animals don't always want to interact with people, and that's okay. Like the llamas, these sheep have recently been sheared, their heat-holding wool cut back during the hot days of summer. This goat is named Django. Before coming to Sanctuary One, he was chained to a barrel and given only four feet to move around. Brooks says he was hostile to both people and other goats when he first came here. 
Now he seeks out companionship as the emotional wounds of this social animal have begun to heal. For many kids who come here on a field trip, this may be the first time they get to meet a goat. This animal reminds me of my childhood on my grandmother's farm. Yes, this is a steer, but not just any steer. This is a Jersey, a breed whose cows produce rich milk. It's hard to imagine anyone abusing or neglecting a horse, but those things do happen. Fortunately for this horse, there's Sanctuary One and safety. Hi there, bud. Here's another goat checking us out. A male goat is called a billy goat. Most goats need companionship to thrive. Brooke says many of the visitors want to see the pig. I want to see the big pig. Where are the big pigs? Can I pet the pigs? Like, of course, of course. Now this is a sow, right? Mm-hmm. A female pig is called a sow. The male is called a boar. A pig is also called a hog. Pigs are noted for their intelligence, but they're mostly raised on the farm for food. The pigs at Sanctuary One, however, will never see the slaughterhouse. Just caring and curious people. If that's you, contact Sanctuary One for a tour.